Okay, quick video about what to put in your bug out bag. Uh, before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know this is not a representative of the views of Garfield Heights Coin Club as a whole. This is just a video, uh, an educational rather. Uh, we've been seeing videos out there about people prepping and silver and oh crap hit the fan scenario. Uh, this is just a uh, educational about uh, maybe some ideas and 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 so here we go. Uh, first of all, I would maybe have a roll of some war nickels. War nickels are very easily identified. They have the largest mint mark right above the dome of Monticello. Uh, oftentimes they're real dingy and, and grimy and you want to get them as cheap as possible. Who cares? Uh, this is just, uh, you know, for your bug out bag. Item number two. Item number two, I would have a roll of some dimes. Um, with the silver Roosevelt dimes, you know, oftentimes you have to sit there and flip them over and make sure that all of them are silver and all of that. So uh, whether it's Roosevelt dimes or, you know, hey, you look at this stuff, boom, you, you know right away, you know right away that it's silver. So, uh, you know, you're not trying to spend big money. You're just trying to get it as cheap as you can. And you might, you know, every once in a while you come across some older stuff that it's real slicked and it has no more value rather than this stuff. So, uh, you know, this is just quick, easily recognizable. So maybe you would have some of this. Uh, again, doesn't matter, but that's item number two. Item number three, you would have a roll of quarters, okay? Um, you know, again, you're not trying to get high-grade stuff. 64, they made millions of, so you could probably find some of the nicer stuff. Um... For this year of 64 but really who cares what's on there you know and then again with this stuff oftentimes you have to flip it over to make sure that uh it's it's the year is correct so why not have some slicked out older stuff or maybe you can't even read the date uh you look at this instantly you know it's silver bada boom bada bing so either way again just giving you guys some ideas item number four halves would i do 40 percent probably not uh, just to keep it simple, let's do 90%. And this is, again, just a, just an idea of what to throw in your bug out bag. Maybe, you know, if you this this is now starting to get a little heavy. I would probably do maybe half a roll. Um, so you've got the 64s, same idea. You know, maybe you're going to have some Franklins or some slicked walkers or just something that you can say, hey, uh, is that a 40%? Is it, is it, is it a clad? What, what is that? You look at this. Boom, you know right away what that is. So um, if you come across some 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 of the older stuff that's easily recognizable without even blinking an eye, uh, would I have a couple of these? I might. I probably might. Uh, definitely not a full roll. This is way, way too heavy to have in your bag. And again, you're not looking for high grade. You're looking for low grade. Um, low grade, as cheap as you can get it. This is a video not for collecting, not for investing. This is a bug out bag you can grab and go. So I would have a couple of those, whether they're Morgans or Peace, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, now now we're moving on to questionable items. Would I have one ounce rounds? Uh, or do, do I recommend that? You know, maybe, maybe. It just depends on how heavy of a bag you have. This is starting to get heavy. Um, and then, and then, you know, it's like, well, is it real? Is it fake? You know, right now there's no question, um, if you buy it from a reputable dealer, but we're not talking about uh, a scenario like that. Um, maybe, maybe the, the bar size. Yeah, I don't know. If, if I were to go into this area, uh, I would probably go here. I would probably go look at it. Boom. You know what it is. You don't even have to look at the year. Or, or anything like that. You just instantly look at it, you know what it is. So I'd have maybe a couple of those. Uh, definitely wouldn't go any any higher than that. You know, too, way too much, come on. And and how much, how many of these? You know, just a couple. Um, couple here with these half roll. I uh, wouldn't do more than that. And then just, you know, maybe a half roll of here and a roll and a roll. So you've got some change that you can make. Now, you know, you know, what's the price of this in, in, in a scenario that we're talking about? Why not just cut your weight down significantly and have some small stuff, small gold. We got two pesos, two and a half pesos. 
easily recognizable. Would I go um, five pesos? I, I, you might have one in there. Uh, you might have tenth ounce. Again, easily recognizable American Eagles. Um, some some standard stuff, but but this is cheap. You can buy it cheap, and and you know it's just small stuff that you can carry and again you know this is not going to weigh much so a couple of these couple of these i would not go fives you can do fives if you want uh that's up to you you know this is just an idea a video for ideas and would you do grams or bars and if you do uh they're they should most likely being an assay holder, but you know, it's kind of big. It's kind of bulky. Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of a questionable area. So uh, let's review. One roll, one roll, maybe half a roll, half a roll, just a couple. I wouldn't. I'd have a couple. No way. A couple here, a couple there. Good to go. And, uh, you know, why Why spend money on uh, plastic rolls, okay? You know, go, go to your local store where the Easter candy is on sale and get this plastic tube and just, you know, throw, throw some of this stuff in there. You know, the quarters will fit and you can throw your dimes in there and then you just wrap this up. You throw some foam in there and, and there you go. You got two tubes of this stuff, you know, or... Maybe you get the bigger size tube that's got the kisses. Yeah, you know, don't spend money on this. This is a bug out bag scenario. Do I personally have a bug out bag? No. Do I recommend people have one? No. Uh, this is just a video that if you do believe that, uh, these are ideas that I wanted to share with you. Easily recognizable. You don't even have to sit around and flip them. Uh, whereas this stuff you might say, well, uh, what year is that? What is that on there? Oh, it's a 40. Okay. Quick, no time needs to be spent verifying. Boom, boom. You're going to have to maybe flip them around. Uh, you know, look at the edge. But is it 90? Is it 40? This is my just a idea video. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments down below. Uh, if you have a bug out bag, there is a number of items you can put in that. This video is just about the... the um, money scenario of your bug out bag and uh, let me know what you would put in there what I didn't recommend some ideas you have are you are you taking 20th of an ounce you know I thought about 20th of an ounce I thought about you know 25th of an ounce but and you know the foreign stuff I don't know I, I personally I think two peso two and a half peso those 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 are recognizable maybe British sovereigns British sovereigns um, you know, recognized around the world, anywhere you go, British sovereign, they know instantly. So, um, just my opinion again, Garfield Heights coin club does, this is not represent the opinion of the club as a whole. This is just a food for thought video. Please tell me what I didn't put in, in my bag, my, um, make believe bag that you have in yours. Thank you for watching.